Humalog Mix 75 to 25 Quickpin Insulin Pen is used with a proper diet and exercise program to control high blood sugar in people with diabetes. This product contains two man-made insulins, intermediate acting insulin Lispro Protamine and rapid acting insulin Lispro. It starts working faster and lasts longer than regular insulin. Insulin is a natural substance that helps the body use sugar from the diet. It replaces the insulin that your body no longer produces, lowering your blood sugar. Controlling high blood sugar helps prevent kidney damage, blindness, nerve problems, loss of limbs, and sexual function problems. Proper control of diabetes may also lessen your risk of a heart attack or stroke. The dosage and timing of Humalog Mix 75-25 to Quickpin Insulin Pen will depend on your medical condition and response to treatment. It is important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. Before using Humalog Mix 75 to 25 Quickpin Insulin Pen, make sure to read the patient information leaflet and ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions. You should also learn the preparation and usage instructions from your healthcare professional. Avoid injecting cold insulin as it can be painful. Keep the insulin container at room temperature and wash your hands before measuring and injecting. Check the product for any particles or clumps and discard it if you see any. Do not shake the container, gently roll and turn it between your palms at least 10 times. If using a cartridge or pre-filled syringe, mix the insulin until it appears evenly white and cloudy. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment, so measure each dose carefully and use exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Inject this medication under the skin of the abdomen, upper arms, or thighs, usually twice daily, 15 minutes before the morning and evening meal. Do not inject into a vein or muscle, and eat promptly after taking this insulin to avoid low blood sugar. Change where you inject each time to lessen the risk of problems under the skin. Do not mix this product with other insulins or use it in an insulin pump, and do not change brands or types of insulin without directions from your doctor. Use this medication regularly as directed by your doctor, and monitor your blood sugar on a regular basis. Do not reuse needles and syringes, and do not share your pen device with another person. Learn how to store and discard medical supplies safely. Remember to tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or if it worsens. If you experience any injection site reaction such as pain, redness, or irritation, or if you notice weight gain, it's important to speak with your doctor or pharmacist. It's essential to remember that the benefits of using this medication outweigh the potential side effects. However, it's important to be aware of any serious side effects that may occur and to contact your doctor right away if you notice signs of low potassium levels in the blood, or if you experience symptoms of low blood sugar such as chills, blurred vision, or weakness. Additionally, if you notice symptoms of high blood sugar such as increased thirst or urination, it's important to inform your doctor promptly. If you notice any other effects not mentioned, it's important to discuss them with your doctor or pharmacist. To help prevent low blood sugar, it's important to eat meals on a regular schedule and not to skip meals. Before using Humalog Mix 75-25 to Quickpin Insulin Pen, Make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist about any allergies you may have, especially to insulin or any inactive ingredients in the product. Also, discuss your medical history, especially if you have kidney or liver disease. It's important to avoid using this medication if you have low blood sugar. Be aware that it may cause blurred vision, dizziness, or drowsiness due to extremely low or high blood sugar, so avoid driving or operating machinery until you are sure you can do so safely. Limiting alcohol intake while taking this medication is also recommended to reduce the risk of developing low blood sugar. Stressful situations, such as illness or surgery, may make it harder to control your blood sugar, so be sure to consult your doctor about any necessary changes to your treatment plan or medications. Before undergoing surgery, inform your doctor about all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs. It's also important to check your blood sugar before and after exercise, and you may need a snack before engaging in physical activity. If you are traveling across multiple time zones, consult your doctor on how to adjust your insulin schedule. If you are pregnant, inform your doctor right away, as pregnancy can cause or worsen diabetes. Discuss a plan with your doctor for managing your blood sugar during pregnancy, as your diabetes treatment may need to be adjusted. If you are breastfeeding, 
consult your doctor before using this medication, as your insulin needs may change while nursing. Drug interactions can change how your medications work or increase your risk for serious side effects. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Before starting, stopping, or changing any medication, talk with your doctor or pharmacist about how it may affect your blood sugar. You should also check your blood sugar regularly and share the results with your doctor. Some medications, like beta blockers, may prevent you from feeling the fast or pounding heartbeat that usually occurs when your blood sugar falls too low. It's important to be aware of other symptoms of low blood sugar, such as dizziness, hunger, or sweating, as they are unaffected by these drugs. It's also crucial to check the labels on all your medicines, including cough and cold products, as some may contain sugar or alcohol that can affect your blood sugar. Additionally, other medications can affect the results of urine tests for sugar or ketones, so make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist for more information. If someone has taken too much of this medication and is experiencing severe symptoms such as passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical help. In the United States, you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include a very fast heartbeat, changes in vision, unexplained heavy sweating, agitation, fainting, and seizures. It's important that you do not share this medication, needles, or syringes with others. Make sure to attend a diabetes education program to learn more about managing your diabetes with medications, diet, exercise, and regular medical exams. Learn the symptoms of high and low blood sugar and how to treat low blood sugar. Check your blood sugar regularly as directed and make sure to have any necessary lab or medical tests done while you are taking this medication. It's important to keep all medical and lab appointments. Don't forget to wear or carry identification stating that you have diabetes and are using this drug. This will help others to know about your condition in case of an emergency. Now, let's talk about the important aspects of using Humalog Mix 75-25 to Quickpin Insulin Pen. It is crucial to follow your insulin regimen diligently and not miss any doses. Make sure to have extra supplies of insulin, as well as an additional syringe and needle on hand. It's also a good idea to discuss specific instructions with your doctor in case you miss a dose of insulin or a meal in the future. This will help ensure that you're using this medication effectively. As always, consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice on the best way to incorporate Humalog Mix 75-25 to Quickpin Insulin Pen into your daily routine. Now let's talk about how to properly store your Humalog Mix 75-25 to Quickpin Insulin Pen. It's important to keep all unopened insulin containers in the refrigerator, but be sure not to freeze them. If you're using vials, you can store open vials in the refrigerator or at room temperature, away from direct heat and light. Make sure to keep them in the carton to protect them from light. However, do not refrigerate cartridges or pens that are currently in use. Remember to discard cartridges and vials in use after 28 days, and pens in use after 10 days, even if there is insulin left. It's also important to not store your insulin in the bathroom and to keep all medications away from children and pets. When it comes to properly disposing of your insulin, it's important to not flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. Make sure to properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed, and consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the best way to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.